Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chun and I make videos every week to add value to you and to myself. Today I wanted to talk about the Apple Watch. Before I start anything at all, let me just make a disclaimer. I wouldn't have spent £400 on this myself at all. I only kept it for sentimental reasons because I got it as a birthday present and that's about it. However, I've now had it for about 6 weeks odd and I wanted to share my views about it. I'm not very very technical with this so if you're looking for an in-depth um, technical review about an Apple Watch, I'm terribly sorry, I won't be able to help you out with that. But if you're looking for a review about an Apple Watch on the whole, you know, like aesthetic and how you use it or how I use it and how it's been working for me in the last six weeks odd, then stay on. If you've watched my What I Got For My Birthday video from end of June, you'll know that I got this Apple Watch as a birthday gift from my mother. I was rather upset that she would spend £400 on a watch. Regardless of how much I love Apple products, Apple Watch isn't one of the things that I ever wanted. It's never been on my list and I wasn't keen on it at all. I usually don't like returning gifts or repurposing it or you know giving it away or not using it when someone gives me something. So I kept it, I thought about it for two whole days, I tried to put it on um, for a day at home and I wanted to see how it was working or how it looked like. I wasn't sure at all. Only because I've got a very very tiny wrist. My wrist size is about 5.1 inch and the regular watch strap didn't go along with that at all. It looks super huge for me and I was thinking okay maybe I can try and change a different strap. There's so many options for Apple watches now. I can look for a different strap online and order it and then try it on and everything. I tried on, not one or two, 10 watch straps. I'm not even joking. I ordered 10 different straps. Not all at one go. I think I ordered two or three at one go each time. And I had to return everything because none of it was suitable. I had a silicone strap and then I had like a metal strap and there was another one which looked very similar like my existing watch where you could remove the links and everything but it didn't look nice. It just made the watch head itself look mutated and super huge. And then there was another nice one that looked like a rubber band, like a hair band itself. So it looks kind of nice and cool. That was a tad too loose and I couldn't tighten it, couldn't do anything else. So that was a problem with each and every one of it other than this strap. This is the only one that works. It's like a mesh strap. But even this is extra huge for me. So I have to fold it up by the side here so that it doesn't fall off. And it looks as if it's sticking out a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's still manageable. The only kind of strap that actually works is the original Apple Watch strap that comes with it, the silicone strap and this mesh strap. These are the only two things that works for me. Another reason why I didn't want an Apple Watch is, let's face it, you spend 400 pounds for a watch. How many times do you actually look at your watch for the time? I wear a watch all the time, I want to say. I used to wear a watch every single day when I went to the office for work. Ever since working from home, I never found the necessity to wear a watch at all. I'm always staring at a computer screen or a phone. My every waking hour is spent staring at one of these screens that has a time on it. So I don't physically, you know, look at the watch like that at all. And I didn't think it was worth spending £400 for it. But regardless, two days after I got it, I made up my mind. I decided that I was going to keep it and I was going to use it. Ever since I started using it, I'm not going to lie, I've not removed it other than when I go to bed at night. I put it on when I wake up and I get ready. So 7 in the morning, it goes on my wrist and it only comes up at 10 or 11 at night when I'm going to bed and I'll tell you what I use it for. I didn't even expect myself to be so addicted to the watch. Other than telling me what the time is, the most useful thing I find with this watch is my movement and my breath. I didn't realize this, but I never move from my seat at all, especially when I'm working. I don't drink enough water, so I don't really get up to go to the toilet that much. That's one. And the second thing is, when I am so fixed with doing something, I'm just into it that I don't even realize how long I'm sat that I'm not blinking and I'm not moving or getting any sort of movement or exercise in between at all. This watch reminds me every hour that I need to stand up. I don't necessarily need to walk anywhere from my desk or anything, but I just need to stand up and that gets the blood circulation flowing. And that actually helps, you know. 
The only reason why I move now is because I've got this watch on and it reminds me every hour. If I don't have my watch on, I won't even know what time it is. I would have completely lost track of the time. And I noticed the same thing with breathing also. I noticed a few times where I didn't even realize that I was holding my breath because I was so involved in something and I was paying full attention to that and I wasn't even breathing normally. All of a sudden my watch vibrated and I turned and looked at it and it reminded me to breathe. That's when I realized I actually wasn't even breathing normally for that, you know, five minutes or however long that was. It kind of helps you to relax, especially when you're breathing along with that timer when you click on start and then follow that timer. It calms you down so much and it helps so much and I never even realized that it would do that. The best feature that I like with the Apple Watch is the activity ring. There are three rings with three different colors in red, green and blue. The red one is the number of steps that you take a day. The one in green is your exercise um, ring and the one in blue is your standing ring. These activity rings are quite interesting and it is really challenging also. I've never taken 10,000 steps in a day, not intentionally for sure. There are times where I've accidentally made it, I think. Um, I've never made the 12 standing time at all. And even the exercise, sometimes I've made it for the exercise ring, I've completed the full 30 minutes. And that too, not intentionally. The only kind of exercise I really get nowadays is my lunchtime walks or some of the walks that I go to after work in the evening, that's all. I'm not going to the gym now and I'm hardly ever exercising at home also. So the walks have been really, really good and it's been helpful that I have a watch. I don't necessarily need to carry my phone with me all the time to count the number of steps that I take. You feel a sense of accomplishment when you see these rings completed. I think there was once where it says your activity ring is now closed or your exercise ring is now closed. And that sense of accomplishment and pride I had at that moment was so, so high. I tried to take a picture of it, but it went away so quickly. So I couldn't get a picture. And as you can imagine, it happens very rarely. So I've not had that many opportunities to try and take a picture of it to commemorate it. This watch has definitely made me move a lot more than I would normally do. And it's definitely made my blood circulation flow a lot more than it normally would. I am a couch potato. If I sit and do something, I just sit and get so involved in it and I forget to move completely. I forget to breathe, I forget to drink, I forget to walk, I forget to exercise, I just forget everything else around me but this watch has been reminding me. It's also got this app for running and it's got this thing to remind you to drink water. You can keep track of it. I've obviously not gotten that water track thing, I'm not using those at all. When you link it up with your phone, you can see some of your updates on your phone also, especially your activity ring and your, um, you know, how much you run and how much water you're drinking and all of those things. You can track everything on your phone. So it's easier for you to keep track. If you're one of those fitness people and you want to count your steps, you want to count your exercise time, how many calories you're burning in a day and everything, then this watch is definitely useful for that. And you can change the faces that you have for your watch. And there's so many different options and combination that can go along. There are hundreds of different faces to start off with. And then you choose a color, you choose a kind of option that you want on it. I've got a jellyfish on there, I've got a big pen. I even have a mini mouse. It's not practical at all. The mini mouse one isn't all that great, but I thought it looked really cute. And then you can have some other photos or something else that is moving. You can have a plain digital watch. You can have the date and the day. You can have your running activity on it. You can have the weather. You can also have the Zero app. I've been doing intermittent fasting for quite some time now and I track everything on an app called Zero. I have it on my phone so you just need to open the app and you log it each time um, you start your fast or each time you end your fast and you change things on there and everything. And I was pleasantly surprised that I could get that app on my watch also. There has been many times where I forgot to log it on my phone itself on that app. So there were a few days where I couldn't track anything properly and it kind of messed things around for me. But then when I saw this on here, you just need to click it on your watch and then automatically it starts your fast for you and it ends the fast for you and that way you can track it and it's far more easier to do that. And if you have a smartphone where your lights and your heating and several other things are connected to smart devices, you've got that app on your watch also. So you can click on the home option 
and that will open up all of the lighting or the heating or whatever you need to switch on switch off and that works so much more easier also one full charge of this watch lasts me for the whole day generally or maybe even one and a half day i would say it won't last me for two days so i kind of need to charge it every single day but that's not a problem at all i have to charge it right on my desk and it's easy for me to charge for like an hour i think it doesn't take that long there are so many other things that you can do with this watch because it links up with your phone you can get a lot of things from your phone onto this watch obviously it links up with your calls and your text messages and your whatsapp and anything like that if you don't have your phone on you and someone tries to call you and it's on vibration mode your watch will vibrate so you know that you have a call coming in and the same thing with whatsapp and text you can read messages you can't see the pictures but you can read messages it feels as if i've been singing praises of this watch there are a few cons with it though it's not always the best the biggest thing that always puts me off with an apple watch is that it is expensive 400 pounds is the cheapest that you can ever get an apple watch for that's with the basic kit itself if you want it one with a better casing a more expensive casing or a different strap like one of those leather straps or one of those um, metal anti-scratch straps i think those are the titanium straps if i'm not mistaken those are all far more expensive there are even apple watches for thousand odd just because of the material of course it's worth the money because of um, the kind of material that it is because that material is expensive but it's not necessary to spend that much money on a watch even 400 pounds i find is too much my previous watch that i used to wear every day is an armani watch and that was 200 pounds i'm not joking but i had it for four years and i never even had to change the battery i wore it every single day and it's not stopped on me at all it's not slowed down on me at all and i think it's got a lot more life in it before i have to change another battery but with the kind of technology that this watch has it kind of balances out the price ultimately and the second biggest con for me is the strap and how the watch looks like no matter how you look at it let's face it it's not aesthetically pleasing at all it's not gonna suit everything. It somehow has a little bit of a spotty look. Nothing of Apple's fault, but because I've got such a tiny wrist, I've got such a small wrist, the watch looks really bulky on me. Even this, with this strap, it looks as if it kind of fits in just nicely, but when you look up close and personal, it does stand out. It's nothing like one of the previous watches that I've had. All of my other watches really fits my wrist properly, and it's kind of small and slim and ladylike and girlish. You don't get that with an Apple Watch. You never get anything girlish or ladylike unless you get one of those, you know, really fancy um, beaded kind of strap or anything that fits your wrist. For me, I have no other choice but this. And another negative thing I found with this watch is that because it's connected to your phone and it vibrates to send you a message to let you know that something is outstanding that you need to see, you are so tempted to look at your watch regardless of where you are or what you're doing. And I've done that a few times. I felt my watch vibrate while I was driving and I wanted to see what it was. I was so tempted to see it. I was so curious. And the other day, Lakshman and I were out in the park catching up with some friends. While we were talking to them, all of a sudden, my watch vibrated. This is my friend talking to me. I wasn't really saying anything. I was just acknowledging and listening to her. But because my watch vibrated, I knew a text had come in and I quickly lifted my hand up and looked at it. It kind of put her off a little bit. She didn't say anything to me, but I noticed that she stopped for a second. Her conversation skipped a beat and that's not normal for her to do that at all. But she knew I wasn't being rude and I knew I wasn't intentional in doing that. But just because that thing vibrates, I am so curious to see what it was. I think I did that a few times. Now I've learned to ignore it when it's vibrating. I've been doing that a few times. It used to annoy me when Lakshman did it. Every time his watch was vibrating, every time someone either called or texted, he kept looking at his watch like that. Every minute he kept looking at his watch like that because he used to get a lot of text and stuff And even when I'm talking he did that and it kind of put me off from that entire conversation And I know how that feels when you're doing that to someone else. It's not polite is it? You're having a conversation with someone else and then you're looking at your watch It feels as if you're looking at the time telling them to stop or to wrap up or that it's getting too late and you're getting bored. 
you know, even if you were to have a regular watch, you wouldn't actually look at your watch to tell people to stop. It's really rude to do that, isn't it? You kind of try and dilly-dally and, you know, secretively look at the time either on your watch or on a clock or on your phone or whatever, but not just directly to their face. I guess that's where you practice a little bit of self-control. You don't actually lift up your hand and look at your watch every time it vibrates and you don't have to also, especially when you're talking to someone else or you're spending quality time with someone else. Learn to prioritize and that's the best way forward with it. After having said all this, if you were to ask me whether I would recommend the Apple Watch or not, I think I would. I can't really say yes for sure and I can't say no. So I'm over the fence on that one. It's £400 but it's worth the money you get the kind of technology that you would for that amount of money. If you've got the £400 to splurge, you don't even have to think twice. Go ahead and buy it. It's worth it. If you don't have the £400, if you need to prioritize your money here and there, and then you allocate that amount of money to buy the watch, then think about it. Is technology really important to you? Is um, keeping track of the pacer and your steps and you know, your activities and everything, if all of those are important to you, then yes, by all means, you get your money's worth from the watch. That's all it is. Regardless of whether my watch matches what I'm wearing or not, I still wear this watch every single day because I want to get the steps in. It's very rare for me to get up and walk. So when I do walk and when I do exercise, I want to make sure it's counted and I don't want to miss that opportunity at all. So I'm just wearing it. If you are like that, if you're like me and you don't really care about whether it's matching or not, and if you have a bigger wrist that you can find a lot of other straps and a lot of other options to mix and match, then good for you. Will I upgrade this watch when a new version comes up? I don't know, I can't say. This is series 5. Um, it was the latest one that my mom got, so it was series 5. I think it will be some time until another one comes, so I can't say. That's the honest answer. It's a bit too early to say whether I'm definitely going to stick to an Apple Watch all the time or not. Um, I will still use my other dressy watches that I have for sure, but I'll be really upset that I'll be losing my steps count on it. For the moment, this watch has become my one and only accessory that I wear every single day. I don't bother wearing earring on a daily basis. I don't even bother wearing my wedding ring on a daily basis, but the watch definitely goes on first thing in the morning, comes off last thing at night. That's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you a little bit of a clarity about the watch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and it's always interesting things or something different or some sort of social experiment that I conduct on myself and share it with you. So I'll see you again next week. Come and follow me on Instagram if you want to. Leave a comment, come and chat with me and I would be more than happy to chat with you. And I will see you again next week. Take care, stay safe. Bye.